it says if you leave Shadow behind on the floating continent, which Realm. you can do, but we didn't. Realm has the dream instead. Yeah. Just, just the one you get, you would that you would get after rescuing Shadow. Not all. Correct. Just the one that's him leaving. Where he leaves the girl behind. Come on. Now we are looking. when he shows up. Yeah, right? Or if I stop moving. I may be waking you up when September ends. It'll be quicker. You're not Whoa. moving. <laughs> I'm not moving again. God damn it. Alright. Time to pay attention. Yo, we're going to do this. We're going to get there. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. I hate it. I hate it here. <laughs> I want it to stop. Uh He's so annoying. Oh. Excuse you. Maybe he only spawns over land. I'm just making things up now. I <laughs> so the sealed cave would have been what here? It's something like that. The yeah. tower is where Vector used to be. Well, I mean, the sealed cave was on the floating continent. Who knows yeah. where the floating continent is now? Oh, that, that shit crashed. So, yeah, so it says Death Gaze spawns on a single aerial tile at a time. Wherever it happens to spawn, that's where it will be until you happen to fly there. Oh, my fucking God. Yep. I don't know why they didn't fix that in this version. The trick to finding Death Gaze on your terms is to ensure that the Falcon is facing due north and then tilt the controls very slightly to the east or west before beginning the journey. Essentially, this plots your course such that you'll very slowly wrap around the planet, yeah. chip by tiring chip, until you have well and truly covered the globe. Death Gaze will be on one of those tiles. Thank you, thegamer.com. Let's find out how helpful it is. We've got like 216 hit points to go on this thing. Right. Out of 55,555. you wanted to do with the Coliseum? No. Alright. This is literally the only other thing. Yep. They just fly around until this thing 
flies into us. Or we fly into it. I mean, we're essentially going tile by tile now. Funny thing is, half the people who are going to watch this are going to be like, I feel your pain. I remember doing this for so long. And the other half are going to be like, seriously? This is what you have to do? I always ran into it when I least Everybody wanted to. Everybody always ran into it. Like I said, it couldn't wait to find you, it seemed like, in the original. It's going to be in the most, like, random fucking spot, too. Well, that's kind of how RNG works. to fast forward through all of this with yakety sacks in the background. <laughs> I feel like you are. <laughs> this is amazing. to be some sort of hack or something. North? Yes. Are you tilting a little bit to the left or right? Until this point, the experience has been pretty enjoyable. Maybe this would be a good time to tell the Pekuris story. Go for it. We I'm, got nothing, we got I'm nothing just else to do. Sitting. I'm, so, I'm trying not to fall asleep while I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. So, all right. So, Back in the olden days, when I was the one playing this game and he was the one watching me, back in the 90s when it first came out, uh, we would occasionally let young James take the controller. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I knew it wouldn't want to hear the story. Just knock this thing out, please. Yes! I knew it! Curtis, like, two shots. <laughs> two fucking shots. Cool fucking shot. Me hit in, hit, hit the fucking ground. <laughs> ah! That's a sad shell we put in the table by the magic Death gazes more, you say. Bahamut! There we go. Now what does he give us? Where? Is that it? Where? 
Okay. Alright! <laughs> Guess what it's time to go do now? Yep, there's only one thing left to do. And that's here the I rest of the first story. I don't need to change my party. So to finish telling my story, we would sometimes give young James the controller and let him do things. And one of the things we would let him do was name characters. And when it came to Cyan, one infamous time, he just basically hit the letters PQRS. And ever since then, my family has referred to Cyan as the Kurs, because that's how you pronounce PQRS. That's it. That's it, really. Okay. We, we still speak fondly of Pekurs. And now, with everything else dealt with, it is time for the main event. Go in. Thank you, Terra, who we haven't really seen until now. What the hell level you, are you at this point? It's time we took the bell to kept his doorstep. What's wrong? Celis. The gods of the war and triad control the magic of the S of the world. If we destroy them, you're worried what, about what might happen? I can't say for sure, but... Espers, and even if magic itself can vanish from the world. And if that happens, what will happen to Terra? She'll just lose her legs. She's half. All right. Okay, here we go. What are you gonna do? I'm intrigued. Not that I ever had like a definitive plan for how I did this, but I'm intrigued to see what you're gonna do. Wait a minute. What? Why are you putting Saban and Gogo in two separate parties? And I came up with another idea. Okay. See, you start going, I immediately just start questioning it. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is the idea that I came up with, sort of. I did make a change with Gogo. Because why have Gogo mimic Sabin when I can't have Gogo mimic dual cast Ultima? Right. <laughs> no, I get that. Here we go. This already sounds great. Party one. Get the chop. Get no crap. Oh, this music sounds fantastic. Yeah, it does. Dice. Nice. You might want to equip him with other stuff. Yeah, I thought that was the wrong thing. Added to it. Oh, the 
This is very nice. Well, we'll be hearing a lot of it. I know we will, but I want to get that first impression. All right. Added just enough to it. This sounds amazing. What magic does Terra? Not a lot. No, she got the level two spells. Yeah, and poison. Evil dragon. Primeval dragons. Lucia's, didn't she? Apparently. Probably more hygienic. No. <laughs> Get the hell out of there. Uh, I 
every which way I'm supposed to go. Just explore. God damn, Just Barbaros. Ah, uh. oh, I should probably equip people, huh? Yeah. Equipping is pretty good. An eleven-year-old with no armor on. Lady Mormont, she isn't. Gamma rays. I know you. I'll laugh at that wipes. No. Ah! There's probably a Celis. Treasure Hunter. It's so magical. Now, 
yes. remind me. Yes, does, it is. Does, <laughs> does dual cast cost twice the magic points? You cast the spell twice. I know you cast the spell twice, but does no. It so cost? you just it just the cost of the spell twice. Okay. Heroes ring. Number one. Yep. Stretch. Stretch well. How's everyone doing here? So we're gonna have ultimate weapon versus ultimate weapon. No. Well, that's disappointing. No. No one has the health right now to try and do that. Alright. Well. Let's do it. I am the one known as Ultima. Fours an eternity ago, I was placed here, and then forgotten in the mist of time. Long have I pondered what I should do. Long, long I have pondered. But now it seems I have an answer. Hmm. Ultima Buster is his name, by the way. Yeah. Interesting that he does not have the same music that he did on the Floating Continent, which no. was the Fierce Battle. Right. Makes one wonder, are there fiercer battles ahead <laughs> than the ultimate weapon, or the ultimate buster, as it were? somewhat properly prepared for things. Right. Even so, he seemed oddly weak. I wonder what's have, going on. Do you have a little bit more faith in me? No. Save point. <laughs> Save point. I still love that his tent has a crown on it. <laughs> Hey, enjoying the content? Why don't you like and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.